The topic of badger culling has been widely disputed over the last few years, with a trial cull due to start in September 2012 in the counties of Gloucestershire and Somerset. The reason for this is that it has been recently been proven that badgers are spreading bovine TB onto cattle, causing significant financial damage to farmers. However, the cull has been postponed because officially the government has said that there was twice as many badgers than expected and could not carry out the cull thoroughly. However, there is wide public conviction against the cull with thousands signing petitions against it. I'm here at the Vale Wildlife Rescue Centre in Beckford to talk to Martin and discuss his views on the badger cull. I'm Martin, Martin Brooks, I'm Assistant Manager at Vale Wildlife Hospital um, and we are, as the name suggests, a hospital for British wildlife um, and, and the intention of, of what we do is to take in sick and injured British wild animals, um, obviously birds included, um, with a view to rehabilitating them back out into the wild. What is your feeling towards the cull, the, pro, the, pro, uh, the proposed cull? Obviously it's been uh, postponed at the moment. It's been postponed because there's <laughs> estimates of numbers and, and whether I've got the, the numbers right. Um, and there has been a big increase in badger numbers since the, um, the legislation to protect badgers. Um, there's no denying that. Um, my opinion of the cull is it is a waste of time. It's a waste of money, waste of time, waste of effort because it, it won't solve the problem. The problem is obviously bovine TB um, and that problem isn't going to go away just by removing a few badgers. Uh, so it's definitely not justified at all and the government have definitely got it wrong. <laughs> I don't feel it's justified. I mean, the, the, the problem is um, it's, in, it's in the wildlife. It's not just badgers. Other wild animals can carry and transmit TB. So why target a specific species, being the badger? Um, I think that the, the, the better course of action would be a vaccination on cattle. Because even if, you take, even if you take all the badgers out of an area, TB isn't necessarily going to disappear. The TB will manifest itself two or three years, even if there's no, been no animals there. So it's a question of, sort of biosecurity, keeping your farm clean, um, keeping the, the badgers and the cattle apart, um, or the wildlife and the cattle apart. Um, it, it's more than just removing badgers. Um, a lot of money at the moment is spent on, on culling cattle, which are reactors and, and reacting to the TB um, tests. Um, the TB tests, it has to be said, are not very satisfactory. Um, the, the, a farmer friend of ours has had... Um, 120 odd cattle removed from his farm over the last 10 years or so um, and on post-mortem none, not one of those cattle has actually proved to have TB. At this point I wanted to speak to farmers who were directly affected by bovine TB and this eventually took me to Mike Holyfield who had a different take on the badger cull altogether. Uh, do you think the government's got it right in terms of the badger cull itself? Not at all. No, they haven't. They haven't done enough research, and um, as, you, as as proven by the fact that they've had to stop it because they've cocked up. The, well, I shouldn't say cocked up, but I mean they've um, got the wrong numbers for the badgers. You know, the actual don't even know the numbers. But on from there, I mean, if if they did call them, there's going to be a percentage that escape, and. Their figure, if it's right, they said it would only be a 16% improvement for the cattle. So that means farms will still be closed down because if you have one cow that's got TB or 10 cows that have got TB, you're still closed down with one cow. So there's no, I can't see, the advantage in it. Uh, how many badger sets do you, do you believe to have on your farm at the moment as you don't feel that the, the badgers are really the true? Well, I mean, the thing for this farm is we've passed the test in the last couple of so years and I feel any badgers we've got are healthy. So I'd be dead against, you know, slaughtering any of the health, those healthy ones because unhealthy ones might move in. But as regards the number of sets, oh crikey, uh, 10 or so, I don't know, they're dotted everywhere. I still didn't feel I had heard both sides of the story and I wanted to speak to farmers who wanted the cull to go ahead and hear their views on why it should. This took me to meet Rob Harrison, another dairy farmer. Uh, what's your general stance on the, uh, the postponed cull at the moment? Well, you know, obviously I was um, very passionate about um, the cull going ahead. Um, I think it's important, um, not the fact that we're killing badgers, but just important that um, we start controlling TB. Um, we need to eradicate TB in the UK. Um, it's a huge issue, um, both you know, emotionally and economically. 
um, for, for the agricultural industry in the UK, um, certainly in the southwest where TB is endemic. Uh, will the vaccination for cows against TB be as effective? Um, well, again, um, vaccination isn't, isn't really an answer. Um, vaccination is available for cows, um, BCG, but unfortunately it's illegal under EU law. Um, main reason why it's illegal is obviously you can't um, differentiate between an infected cow and uh, a, you know, a cow that's been vaccinated. Um, if we did start vaccinating um, cows in the UK, um, and again, it's only 60% efficient anyway, so you, you wouldn't actually be able to differentiate between an infected one and, and one that's uh, been vaccinated. Uh, would you say that the, uh, the culling of badgers is actually one way of even pre preventing badgers from actually getting TB themselves as well? Um, I think you know, one, of the, one of the key messages is actually we're looking for a healthy badger population and a healthy cow population. And uh, you know, I think actually, you know, badgers suffer hugely from TB, and uh, I know plenty of people who've seen infected badgers, and it's cruel leaving infected badgers out there to, to you know, to suffer. And if we could actually get rid of the, the reservoir infection within the UK, um, or within the endemic areas, um, it would be fantastic for you know, for both the badger population and also for for the cattle population. When a farm is closed down from TB, uh, how much generally do farmers end up losing in terms of profits and in costs of having cattle destroyed? Um, off the top of my head, the average um, case of TB costs the farm about £10,000. Um, so that's cost of the farm, obviously cost to, um, there's obviously a cost to the government as well. Um, currently TB costs the um, UK taxpayers about £100 million. The cull in the proposed areas would take place at night and the marksmen would bait outside the badger sets and wait for them to leave. The trained marksmen would then shoot to kill the badger. A rifle like this one would generally be used to perform the task. There is a lot of opposition towards the curl going ahead in 2013 and many people believe the government has performed a U-turn by postponing the curl. However, farmers feel the curl will go ahead as the curl is the only option to help eradicate bovine TB. Ultimately, the decision is up to the government as the debate is still ongoing. Uh, do you think the curl will still go ahead next summer? No, I don't because there's so much anti. I think the government are frightened of losing um, popularity. Um, and I th no, because Wales were the same, weren't they? Wales tried to do a curl and put it back and put it back and they haven't done it. Do you still think the curl will still go, still go ahead? In some point next year. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty hopeful that the coal will definitely go ahead next year. Um, I think I don't see any reason. I think we've got a government that's committed to it. I think we've got farmers that are committed to it. Uh, on one final note, do you think the coal will still proceed in 2013? Um, this is a very, very difficult question. Uh, I said I think it all depends on who shouts the loudest. I, I don't think it will proceed. I, I'd like to think it won't 